What, what's the black stuff? It's ink? Like for a pen? What in the hell? You better not have messed up my nails, Mr. Squid Man. Hi, I'm King. I'm a professional chef at the Institute of Culinary Education, and this is a $209 hot tie. Hi, I'm Onika, and I'm a home cook, and these are my $18 hot tie ingredients. I have fish sauce. We are going to be fine. <laughs> it's a lot. OK. So I was planning on making a seafood-inspired pad thai, and I had some excellent ingredients to work with. I had jumbo blue shrimp, sea scallops, and fresh squid. Uh, yeah, it's a bunch of eyes. A lot of stuff is looking at me today. I had a bunch of summer vegetables straight from the farmer's market. Patty pan squash, Swiss chard, and sweet corn. Corn, okay, I recognize corn. For my sauce, I had tamarind paste, palm sugar, and fish sauce. And some sweet glutinous rice, chilies, dried shrimp for a toasted rice topping. <laughs> I, I know how to cook Uncle Ben's rice. All served with traditional pad thai noodles on a banana leaf. It was going to be very, very, very good. <sighs> I'll figure it out. With Onika's recipe, I have simpler ingredients. This is stuff you're more likely to find in your pantry or your local grocery store. These ingredients might be simple, but with a little technique and lots of love, we'll make something better. If I had to guess, this would all cost about 18 bucks. Oh, woo! I'm out of here. If I had to guess, I think it would cost about 180 bucks. $209? How many people are we feeding? We have a list of ingredients here. I know I'm making four things, but they don't tell me how. Squid, scallop, and blue shrimp pad thai. Never heard of blue shrimp before. So this pad thai, it's really all about your preparation, making sure you are prepared and ready to go. Because once you get your wok going hot, you cannot stop. You stop for a second, things will burn in there. I'm going to need step-by-step -step instructions. Rose. Hey, Onika, how are you? I am overwhelmed. It's a lot. Rose, I have blue nails and I have blue shrimp. I've never heard of blue <laughs> shrimp. How am I preparing that? So the shrimp, you're going to leave the head on and you are going to leave the shell on too. I don't know how I feel about keeping everything on. You're just going to take a knife and run it along the back where you might see a little bit of a dark line. Scoop that little dark line out, toss it. Easy. Look at this squid. It's so big. So how am I going to make that? So that, you're going to peel the skin off, and then you cut the back off, and you're left with a tube. Cut it open so that you butterfly this squid tube. I'm going to have to rinse this off and my nails. You have a lot of ink. And then you're going to score it just on the inside. Cut it into strips. It's good to go. What about these scallops? The scallops are even easier. You're gonna just score one side. Once you cook them, the hatch marks are gonna make it really nice and crispy. That's it. You're pre-prepped with all of your delicious seafood. Okay, you believe in me, right? I totally believe in you. <laughs> all right, my seafood is prepped. Thank you, Rose. Tofu. Thanks, Anika. We could just slice and dice, throw it in there, walk away, but we're gonna hook this baby up. We're gonna coat it and pan fry it. My tofu's cut, and now I'm gonna make the egg batter portion of this dish. Slice these scallions, and that's gonna go in with our egg batter. Egg cracking time. A little bit of water to thin out the egg. Oh, the eggs are leaving me. Stay in here. Perfect. There go our scallions. Ah. My favorite, fish sauce. It plays a big role in this dish. That brings the salinity, plus also that nice umami punch. If we were missing the fish sauce and just put in salt, definitely would not be a pad thai. I'll see you again soon. And that part is good to go. So I don't have flour to coat the tofu in, but I do have these rice noodles. So I'm gonna process them into a nice fine powder, and that's gonna be my flour. So you're gonna see flying noodles in a minute. So we went from this to that. I want it finer. Originally, I was gonna use a food processor. This is not happening. But I think the spice grinder will work better for this. Woo-wee! We're gonna coat our tofu, pop it in the egg wash, pan fry it, crispy tofu. Time to prep my vegetables. Garlic! You know what I love to do with garlic? I just love to smash. I think that's the easiest way to take it out. You'll be peeling this all day. I'm about to smash your head. 
huge scallions. Scallions, you're gonna see these in a few places, right? With our tofu, in the pad thai, sauteed, and also as a garnish on top. You gotta take advantage of with what you have. This takes concentration. Peppers, I tell everybody who I'm teaching knife skills to is make sure whatever you're cutting is stable. There's certain items that you'd have to cut to make a flat surface. This we don't have to. Think of it as four walls. One, two, three, four. And you see all the seeds stay there? Bitter, we don't want those. We'll find another use for you, but not today in our pot thai. Who's up next? Garlic chives. Hey, boo. You're going in there, okay. It smells a little garlicky, but not overbearing. It's... No, it doesn't. You know, it smells like grass. It just smells like grass. I used to eat grass because I was a crazy kid. It's so funny how many items I just have not used before. Next. Oh, this is the Swiss chard. I love Swiss chard. The, you know, the stem is really crunchy and juicy, and then you have that nice green leaf. And so I would just slice those, you know, half inch cut going through there, somewhere on a plate. I'm a little afraid to cut this. And this is a panty rammy, a panna. It's something with a pan. The patty pan squash. Who named that? You know, I would just slice that maybe into sixth or eighths and show off that color, the beautiful inside. Yeah, it's softer than regular squash. It's so pretty. So I also sent Anika some beautiful sweet corn. We're shucking and jiving. That corn is nice and juicy, nice and plump. We don't want to just make a big mash of all these ingredients in the noodles. You want to be able to taste each one. What the hell? No, I don't like that. Can I just do this? I love corn, especially if you pop it. Our jalapenos, we're gonna saute some and we're gonna reserve some for our garnish at the end. Some light just went off in my head. I know what I wanna do now. Just one more thing we need. Pa pow We're gonna make a little bath, a little fish sauce bath. Let's go guys, we're gonna take a bath. When we're ready to plate, right on top, final garnish. Woo, fish sauce to the rescue. Our veggies are prepped. So we got the chard, the corn, the scallop, the, we have everything. What's next? Here are our noodles for our pad thai. You know, we just need to rehydrate. rehydrate the dried noodles. So I'm just going to pour the water. We don't want boiling water. We actually want very hot water. Go ahead, get a little jacuzzi. If it's boiling water, you're going to have a mushy pad thai and nothing more terrible than a mushy pad thai. So I'm going to let these soak. Let's go on to the next thing. So pad thai, it's all about the sauce. Salty, sweet, spicy, and acidic. It's missing the tamarind. Chef King gave me some tamarind paste. That was taken away from me. They didn't They didn't show that part. I was actually turning in the corner crying. He said that he loves this the most, so we gotta make sure that we do this right. So really, when you're making a pad thai sauce, there's three things. It's tamarind, it's fish sauce, it's palm sugar. I've only had tamarind soda, so I'm gonna try it. And when I talk about the tamarind taste, we're talking about acidity. We're talking about this sourness. I, I like that taste. With what I have here, I could substitute for the tamarind and we'll still get that sour flavor from that rice vinegar. Okay, so dropping that in a bowl and I'm gonna soak it like I did my noodles. Now I have to break up the tamarind. Oh, goodness. I'm glad I have these gloves on. Our main ingredients for our sauce, the sugar is gonna add our sweetness. Sambal is going to turn the pad thai kind of orange brown, which is the color we're looking for. But we're also getting heat from this. My best friend, hopefully yours one day, fish sauce. Use this sparingly. It's almost like when you add salt into something, you could always add more, but you can't take it out. Rice vinegar. It's all about the balance, right? Looks great already. We need as much tamarind paste sauce as we can get. Goodness gracious. Chef King, okay, we get it. That's good enough for me. I was about to have a dog on panic attack. No need to put it on the stove. You don't have to heat it up. By just whisking it, the brown sugar is already incorporated with the other liquids. The acid is ripe. For me, this is a little too sweet. My friend always comes through. Now it's balanced. The only thing I'm missing now is a little more heat. Welcome to the party, Sambal. This palm sugar is uh, thick. Get your butt in there. What did I tell you? Get in there! And our fish sauce. Okay, so I'm stirring until the palm sugar dissolves. It's taking a while. It's just sitting there like. Okay, finally our palm sugar is dissolved. Oh, that's good. Amazing. That's it, we're good. And voila, pad thai sauce. So another key part of pad thai are pickles. I gave Nika some turnips, some jalapenos. We're also gonna throw in some Thai chilies and make sure it's nice and hot. I love spicy food. So these are my friends. 
and we're gonna pickle those with a little rice vinegar, salt, and sugar. Pickles are great because it adds the crunch, as the vegetable's crunchy, you get salt, you get heat, and you get the sourness. We're building layers and layers of flavor in this pad thai, and it just adds one more element of flavor and texture to the dish. So we're gonna let this soak, and our pickling has begun. Next up, we're gonna prep toppings. My plan is to toast some garlic, fry up some scallions, fry up some jalapenos, mix that with some pulverized peanuts. So I just wanna have this kind of salty, crunchy, spicy topping. SSC, spicy, salty, crunchy, there we go. And you hear that, that sound, that's water. Scallions, the jalapenos are juicy, there's water in there. So now it's getting crispy, and that's what we're looking for. So now we're toasting the rice. Monika is gonna be making a toasted rice topping for a pad thai. I know that I gotta watch this because it goes quick. It can easily go from, wow, nothing's happening, to turn around and come back. I have burnt rice. You're looking for a nice golden crust on it. I think this is good. So now we're gonna pour our rice. This pan is heavy as hell. Okay, dried shrimp, peppers. So now I'm smashing this all together. Come on, man. There's no way in the world that I'm still prepping. Screw this. It's not gonna know. If you don't tell, he won't know. Okay. <laughs> now we're gonna add our salty peanuts to it. And we have our classic SSC. I love it. Ooh, little kick. That's so pretty. Our rice and spice topping is done. I made this totally by hand. We would never cheat. Pad Thai topping is complete, ready to go. Guess who's back? Our seafood is back in the building. We're gonna pan sear the scallops. When you sear them, you don't wanna overcook them. Put it in a cast iron pan, you get this beautiful caramelization. I'm happy with those. I'm just not happy with this little guy. What's your problem? Don't be the runt of the litter, okay? They're gonna taste sweet, and that's what we were looking for. Scallops seared. So we're gonna fry some tofu. I'm gonna coat our tofu with this rice flour. It's gonna add some crunch and also add texture to it at the same time. Dropping in our egg batter, standard breading procedure. We are doing an SBP process minus the bread. And then go right into our fryer. Next up, squid. So roll set. Do a really quick boil in a salted water. It's gonna curl up a little bit and then blanch it in icy cold water and then save it for when we put all the pad thai together then. That looks gorgeous. Remember, when you're frying something, anything, especially tofu, because tofu acts like a sponge, you gotta make sure your oil is at the right temperature. If this oil was not hot enough, it would wind up soaking into our tofu, and you'd wind up biting into greasy tofu, which is probably one of the nastiest things. Our squid is done. So now it's time to see what the shrimp's gonna do. Jumbo blue shrimp should turn this beautiful color, this kind of nice pink rosy color. Oh, this is fun. And they stay nice and tender. I think Chef King would be proud of me. I'm glad I left the hat on. It is pretty. All right, so this is our last batch of the tofu. I'm really happy with how they're turning out. It's nice golden brown, which we were looking for. And it's ready to go into our pad thai. And my shrimp are ready for the big show. So, Nika, you're ready to make your pad thai. All our key ingredients are ready and set to go. Game time. I prepped all of this stuff for this very moment. Get your pan nice and hot. That wok goes nice and hot. You throw oil in there, you see it smoking, that's your green light. Go in, boom, boom, boom. One, two, three, you're gonna be done. I'm feeling like a million bucks. All the things. I forgot about the grass. Chard, shake, shake, shake. If you don't have a wok, Here's your next best option. It's perfect for this. You get this cast iron nice and seasoned. You don't need a non-stick anymore. How do you know it's hot without sticking your hand in there and searing your hand? Don't do that. Take your oil. It's gonna start shimmering, and the next step, it's gonna start smoking. It is shimmering, and I just felt my uh, hairs on my arm burn. It's hot. This wok is hot. Wok of wok of flame. So the cool thing with going in with the garlic first is that not only are we toasting our garlic, garlic has a lot of oil and that oil now is seasoning the cooking oil. And that will also add that layer of flavor to our pot thai. So we're building our base layer right now. From here on, it's gonna go pretty quick. Let's go with our peppers, scallions, and bean sprouts. Look at that. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. We're ready to go in with our noodles. You ready, noodles? Ah, uh, we don't need palms for this. Get right in there. Stir in the fun. Ooh, get a workout. And that water, actually, that we put in there with the noodles that just came and dripped in, that's helping the cooking process as well. Sauce time. That beautiful sauce we made. 
salty, spicy, sour, and sweet. All the elements of her pad thai. Eggs. So you have your noodles in, you're moving those noodles around, you're sauteing them. Kind of push the noodles over to one side, add a little more oil, and crack open one or two eggs. Then you could stir that up. I can't believe we're scrambling the egg all in one pot. And then throw the noodles back in and mix it all up. So you get some coating on your noodles and you'll also see some little cooked egg around there. It's the best thing. I'm gonna fold it in. Mix it with our noodles. I wanna taste this. Oh, it's perfect. Next, pretty squid, our scallops. Then our pickle situation. Oh, don't forget about our beautiful tofu. Oh, look at this. And we're pretty much done. So I'm gonna let everything heat through and then I'm ready to plate. Except one more thing. I'm gonna take it out of this and make a little, well, I'll surprise you, you'll see in a minute. One last trick, here we go. I had to kick up, you know, a little bit of the kind of basic ingredients of basic veg pad thai and we're just gonna up the game a little bit. I'm gonna make a little omelet and we're gonna put the pad thai in the omelet. It looks cool. I've had it before in Thailand. You know, it's, it's a street food kind of thing. We are done. Time to plate. So I got my banana leaf. Okay, that looks pretty. So now I'm gonna decorate it. Look at that color. I'm gonna put a little rice dust. That looks delicious. Look at that. Cilantro, lime wedges. I think I'm done. Yay, me! And this is my take on Chef King's Pad Thai. You would pay 200 and something dollars for this, right? Pad Thai is in the omelet. We're just gonna fold this, go right on our plate. Ooh-wee. Omelet's perfect. It's nice and crispy on the outside. Yeah, I have my pad thai in there. You can see it's sneaking out. It's like, come and get me, come and get me. Our SSC, salty, spicy, crunchy. Our jalapenos in. Fish sauce. Bang, bang. More crunch. So I'm gonna put a little bouquet of cilantro right there. We have this beautiful sauce. What are we gonna do with it? We're gonna eat it. Finish it right on top. And here's my take on Anika's pad thai. I can't wait to dig into this thing. I don't know if you are, but I'm ready to go. I'm gonna do it all in one shot now. Mm. I was afraid for a minute because I didn't have my tamarind, but I'm getting that sourness from the vinegar, the sweetness, not only from the brown sugar, but there's also sweetness from those scallions. I'm getting that nice salty from the fish sauce plus the peanuts. This is the best pad thai I've ever had. Okay, so let's try. Mm, that's delicious. It's crunchy and soft and spicy and sweet and textured all in one at one time. You can taste the pickles. You can taste the pickle. Oh my god! I want the shrimp. Blue shrimp for the win. The shrimp tastes sweet. The squid was magnificent. It was like just the right consistency. This is worth every second of the prep. This is the last bite because I need to leave room for Chef King's recipe. What? Whoa! So much fun? <laughs> so much work! Oh my god, that looks delicious! Thank you, yours does too. What do you think? Does it look like it's supposed to look? Yeah, I love how the squid came out. Yes, they just started like doing some fancy dance. I was like, what are you guys doing? The scallops look great. I see the rice, the toasted rice. That was... How was that? <laughs> <laughs> it was fine. I didn't use a spice grinder or anything. Okay, I did. I used the spice grinder. I'm not gonna uh, lie. Yeah, I used the spice grinder too. I can't wait to dig in. Okay, you first. I wanna try that squid there first. Mm. Right? I love it. Now here's the real deal. It's good! Okay, cause I'm like, what are you, what are you looking like, no, baby? No, just wait, no, yeah, it's good, it's yeah. good. Okay, so let me try yours. It looks like it's an omelet. It is. Okay. So I put the noodles in the omelet. I have to change it up a little bit. Oh, this is good. good. This omelet tastes amazing on top of this. Wait, let me try this tofu. Yeah. So we both did it. But this is what you do. Like, this is amazing. There was a bunch of stuff that I had not worked with before. Yeah. But your recipe is phenomenal. Oh, I just want to tell you that. Thank and do you, you remember all the steps in the recipe? No. <laughs> I'm going to give you something that you could remember all the steps really? in the recipe. Yep. Papang! That, that's a lot. That was, yeah, that's what happened. Fry, saute, grill, broil, steam, braise. Yeah, wait, wait a minute. I pickled. You pickled? I pickled. Oh, I didn't put pickles in <laughs> uh, This was great. 
Thank you. We'll do this I again tried. Soon. No, we won't. We won't. <laughs> <laughs>